Welcome back, Devil May Cry fans, to Mission 22, Legendary Battle. Guess what that means? It's boss fight time! Not just any boss, the big boss. That big statue, that's our boss. You may think I'm joking, but I, I'm kinda not. That's actually the, the form that the boss is taking here, which is, which is something. Oh boy, what's he doing? Oh no, it's... Jesus. Wait, no, Trish. Sorry, I get those two confused all the time. She is doing the Jesus pose, though. I'm just saying. Oh, we just got stabbed again. See, I think we should have got stabbed in different places throughout this playthrough, and then those three shots would have been in the same locations we got stabbed. I think that would have been a cool callback to that, but that's just me thinking about storytelling. I think we got stabbed through, like, the side of the chest each time, like the peck. We got stabbed, like, two times. With wow, she got there super fast. Uh, I think we got stabbed twice prior to this. We got stabbed when Trish stabbed us with the sword, and then we got stabbed with... Alistair when it showed up. I think that was it, and that was like the first like hour of the game. We got stabbed twice, and then not until here. And now now we get stabbed three times. So we should have got stabbed one more time. Maybe I'm just forgetting, but that's just me. Thinking out loud. Oh, also we have psychic powers now, apparently. Because we've finally awakened our true demon self. I really, really wish that everyone had subtitles, because I kind of don't want to talk over Dante and Trish, but I kind of do want to keep talking. It's a hard balance. Let's play in this game. All because the devs decided that if you are deaf or hard of hearing, you do not deserve to hear what half the characters are saying. Because they hate you. Capcom hates you. So yeah, he's getting real big. It's getting swole. Oh, and he has wings, too. That could be a problem. But yeah, that's what our boss looks like. Which is kind of cool, but also... Oh yeah, we're in space now, too. This game's weird. This game got a whole lot more anime in, like, the last ten minutes. And as we all know, anime is trash. can create it as many as you want. I feel like that's not proper grammar, but, I mean, Japanese company, I guess, so. You still, you would think the voice actor would be like, hey, this doesn't really sound right, though. Can we, like, I can create as many as you want? Like, like, like can I say that instead? Or maybe the voice actor flubbed it, and then the subtitle team is just like, well, eh, whatever, it's fine. Oh yeah, that's us, by the way. We're now, we're now that thing, and we're flying. This game is weird. I was, I was with it, and now I'm like, this is so bizarre. Oh, also, this is now a Star Fox game. Yeah, that's, that's what this now is. This is no longer, this is no longer hack and slash. It, it became Star Fox. And a difficult Star Fox at that. Because when you just completely change the mechanics of a game, like right here at the end, it, it, it becomes difficult because I, we haven't done anything like this. We've done zero, zero like this in the game so far. Closest we've come is those underwater sections because the controls are reversed in those too. But. We haven't had infinite ammo, we haven't had a target like this, we haven't had to dodge stuff like this. Using our reverse controls that we have barely touched this whole game. It's it's not easy, and I don't like it at all. Anyway, we broke his shield, so that's the, the gimmick of this this fight. 
is he puts out shield orbs, you have to blow up the shield orbs while dodging everything, and then you blast him a bunch. It's probably not the easiest. Also, if we use our, our Goku meter, it does that, which is a good chunk of damage, and it automatically destroys the shield, so I should have waited. I should have waited until right now, because then he wouldn't have his shields. Dodged it. Did well for once. Doing better once we got up close, actually. I don't like this attack because you have to keep constantly moving and you can't shoot him in the wings, you can only shoot him in, like, the chest. And, oh, and he's flying away. And now we have to do this whole section again, but we got him down to half health with us only losing about half our health because of the star, so now that we know the pattern, we might actually be able to win. That's unfortunate. These rocks you can break if you shoot at them enough. Uh, I didn't do it here, but you can. Also, these are tough to dodge. This whole thing is tough. I don't like this at all. This is very difficult, and I died. But that's okay, because it only took me one more try, and then I was able to beat it. As evidenced by this. You should know what the formula is right now. If I'm putting up a screen like this, I'm showing you the one that won. And uh, if there are multiple extra tries, I'll show them at the end. But it, that was not the case here. Uh, I actually decided to kind of cheese this fight, which you'll see. I, I, I figured out a way to beat it without having to actually do the Star Fox thing. Like, once we get up close, we're... We're just going to beat it. It's it's not going to be difficult. Because if there's anything I know about video games, it's that if you can cheese your way through, it's better than actually having to use, like, strategy and skill. That's why we invented Game Sharks. So yeah, this dragon does quite a bit of damage. And do you know what you can do? You can spawn more of him. Yeah, that's right. We have, like, six Devil Stars. G guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna use a bunch of them. Yeah. Didn't think about that, did ya? Because it breaks his shield, and it allows us to do some extra shots, and it takes out a good chunk of his health. So it's really just the best strategy kind of disappointed that hit, but it is what it is. There's not really too much to this fight, honestly. I expected this stage of it to be more difficult. Like, it's not easy. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's not easy. But once you figure out all of his attacks, much like Star Fox, you can just dodge them, and it's not that hard. Like, it requires, I think, significantly less skill and timing than most of the game. Because, well, most of the game, you need better reflexes. And you need to press buttons along with dodging. This one, you can you just dodge. You just have to move the control stick. And then you dodge. I say that as I'm cheesing it, so you know how it is. But also, more stabbies. This time it was only two, so... There you go. Gets struck by meteors. It's just a whole mess. That was phase one of this boss fight. There are two phases. We're about to enter the second. Where we actually get to play Devil May Cry. As opposed to Star Fox. Or other games of that nature. But Star Fox is the one that comes to mind. I didn't play much Star Fox as a kid. Because uh, I didn't have it for the N64. But I played... I've watched Star Fox, and I played Star Fox Adventures, which I know is basically just a Zelda game, but it's not the point. The point is that I know what Star Fox is, because I'm a real video gamer. I'm debating here which is the best gun to use. I decided ultimately on the grenade gun, because that is what we've used for some of it. 
And then I lied to you. Because it doesn't matter what gun you use, as long as you're in devil mode, because you do this. Also, our handgun is not actually the best uh, thing for this. So I decided I'd try to get up close to him and hit him with the sword, and you just die. Yet you just... You just die. But... I figured it out pretty quickly, as evidenced by this screen. So you're not actually going to get a death compilation for the final boss, because I didn't require one. I just kind of... I just kind of beat him. Shotgun was not the right pick, though. But neither were the handguns. The handguns weren't really doing a whole lot. So, this time, ha ha ha, I decided on the grenade gun. Now, also this, if you use the devil thing, you can just kind of spam and do a lot of damage. The platforms get annoying because they get in your way and block your shots. But again, this boss isn't... The, the patterns aren't that tough, I don't think. Like, I have... I, I feel like of all the bosses in this game, this is not the most difficult one. Now, he certainly isn't easy. There are no easy bosses in this game. There's no there's nothing easy in this game. But like these dragons, I think the dragons refill your health and the floating balls uh, get you dragon points or Goku points. Like we're full health and I didn't even have to use one of my stars. So there are worse things. Like there we go. We just got more Goku points. And I'll just wait for this platform. Grenade isn't really doing a whole lot either, if we're honest. It does a little bit. I think it does more than the handgun. That is the strongest move, but I dodged it, so it's fine. This is a really easy move to dodge. Once we get out of the way of the platform, we can just keep spamming him. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out. And I still had a few devil stars, so I'm like, you know what? Let's use those, sure. Why not? And when we're in uh, Super Goku mode, I mean, I don't think he has an attack that can do more damage than we can recover while in that mode. The grenade refills our bar pretty quickly. It's just all sorts of great. All sorts of easiness. Not even stressing about it. The only reason I died in this fight was actually because of platforming. I, I tried to get up close to him because I thought, hey, there are platforms, let's, you know, get on the platform so that I can try to slice the dude with the mega sword that we have. And it turns out that was the incorrect decision. What you really want to do is just spam there, or sit there and spam circle. These aren't very difficult to dodge, you just run back and forth. I think it was... Is it the griffin that did that attack? Or was it the scorpion? No, it was the scorpion. And then you just you get back to your point where there are no platforms in your way. And I just decided to just damage boost through that. Who cares, man? Who cares? Who even cares, bro? I got this. I just need one more. I even have a vital star I can use. I decided to be really, really safe there. Once I destroy a ball, I'll get my devil thing back, or maybe I can just grenade it. It's fine, and we just get back to spamming. We might even be able to beat him right here, right now. And yeah, that's it. We beat the final boss of Devil May Cry. It... I imagine there are faster ways. I imagine there are more skillful ways. But mine was pretty safe, at least on normal difficulty. And I, I mean, it worked for me. Doesn't, I don't really care otherwise. <laughs> I, I did what I had to do. Also, we got transported back from wherever that was pretty quickly. Makes you wonder where you actually were. 
So this is our touching moment where we're like, oh no, the, the woman we met like a day ago betrayed us and then she didn't betray us and now she's dead. And that's really sad, but not actually. Like this was peak video game writing of 2001, right? Like there was, it was a joke for a long time that video games did not know how to do writing, even though that wasn't entirely true. This is this is an example of it. I mean, we've had like six cutscenes this entire game. We've had the bare minimum of story. We don't know anything about her apart from her name being Trish. And yet we're supposed to be like, oh no, she died. We're really sad now. We really care for Dante caring because he met her twice. Literally twice, I think. At the bar. And then when we got here. My father's also here now. I guess once more when she betrayed us. In peace. Maybe they traveled here together, I don't know. Maybe they had deep, heartfelt conversations on the plane ride, or if they flew in his demon form, I don't know. Anyway, that was the mission. The game is not yet over though. We have one more mission to do, and we will do that on the next episode. It's going to be really fun.